Good morning, guys. Uh, I woke up this morning. Uh, I'm supposed to leave the house now very soon. So I decided to uh, make a video for you of how I do my morning uh, makeup. So it's basically very simple. Uh, and I'm just gonna share with you some uh, basic moments uh, and explain to you what I do usually. As you can see, uh, I am very pale, uh, of course, without anything on my face. Uh, what I usually do, uh, I always start with um, with a uh, what is this called? With a correct uh, concealer corrector. I usually use this one. I actually have to buy the new one because this one is almost done. So I usually cover these uh, below the eyes apart because I have I my, my skin is very light, so it takes a lot of a lot of um, parts to make it um, to make it look much better. I use this one, this brush. Uh, actually, this brush I use for more things. The important thing is that you wash it um, regularly. I cannot say that I do that, uh, so I have to get better. But to be honest, I sometimes even buy more of them and then just change them because some of them that are synthetic ones cannot really get washed. Um, continue with the foundation. Uh, I have gone through periods of changing a lot of foundations and there are a couple of those that are really good. Uh, now I am using this one. Uh, Max Factor. It's the Max Factor Face uh, Face Finity All Day Flawless 3 in 1 foundation. My um, my shade is natural number 50. I usually put it here on my hand and just spam it with a finger like this. And then just um, continue it with the brush like like spawn it very good with the brush. The thing is, I I also had the periods when I was uh, finishing everything with the with a sponge, but now I'm or with hands actually. But now I'm much more comfortable with the same brush actually that you saw me using the concealer because it's much more um, firm and it stays longer on the skin. Sponge is good because sponge sometimes, like not sometimes, sponge takes away, um, let's say, the all the unnecessary layers of the, of the um, foundation. But to be honest, I like to use um, a lot of foundation because I said I'm quite pale, so for me it's important that everything is quite good. So I usually do it like this. I use the same brush, but then I said it's important that you have to wash it regularly and I usually buy more of them because it's much easier for me. So I also do it on the mouth because I can pay attention to do it on the whole face with details also on the neck. And here, this part of my face usually gets some, doesn't get very good, but then I pay more attention to it. These areas are quite important. Yeah, the nose, I usually miss this part, I don't know why. So this would be this part of the foundation. I use this corrector. It's this one, Kevin Alcoin, or I don't know how you read this one actually. It's one of the best makeup I have to say. So I usually put it around here. I have to buy a new one actually to be honest because I almost finished with it. So I make this kind of a triangle here. The makeup is very good. I also use some other products and they're um, their um, lipsticks are the best ones. I have a special shade. This this one that I use so much is this this brush to make it. So as I said, I use a lot of products for the part here below eyes because I'm very pale. So 
I usually first do eyebrows, then um, eyeshadow. Uh, I first will do my eyebrows. Uh, I have also tried a lot of products for the eyebrows with different shades and shades, and I have finally found the perfect one that I really, really love using, which would be this one. It's the K Brow Benefits uh, Eyebrow with the uh, which would be actually the cream gel brow color with brush. Uh, I actually use this brush, but also the one that you find here is very good. Um, and my uh, shade is number two. Uh, I really love them, I found them very good. I already have one that I finished, so I got this one. So what I do, and I love having my eye, my brows always done with details as I find I find them very important part of the face actually because it shapes everything else like once you have your brows done in a good way everything else can be not done with less care but to be honest just like even accentuate less when I was younger I had much more um, smaller ones smaller brows but now as I get older I like to have the thicker ones and to be honest I think they're much better for the face. They seem maybe a little dark but once I put um, the rest part of the makeup they actually look quite good. So and I prefer them to be a bit darker. I would move on now with the shadows. To be honest I didn't use a lot of shadows, uh, eyeshadows um, in the past and I have started using it um, in the recent months to be honest and it, uh, since I got this very cute table it's uh, very interesting for me also to uh, try out different things. Uh, usually during the day for my daily makeup I before I used a lot of this Naked 3 Urban Decay which we all kind of know already right with all the shades as you may see yeah, these ones, you already know them. Um, but uh, to be honest, I bought, I, I was looking a lot of time uh, this Naked, uh, Naked Heat Urban Decay also. Um, and I was very undecided where to buy it because I was like, yeah, maybe the shades are too dark, I'm a bit pale, uh, when I'm gonna use them, I go out, but not so often. But to be honest, uh, um, since I got it, uh, I've been using it every day, but because even though it seems a lot of dark, there are a lot of shades that actually when you put them uh, a little bit, they are also very good for the day. So I'm actually uh, enjoying it so much and this is my main palette in the last month, let's say. So what I usually do, uh, I put one shade, to be honest, and I usually use this brush, this kind of, uh, it's very soft. I usually use... Um, shades that are called sauced and low, uh, low blow they're kind of uh, uh, brown parts of the shades so what I do, I put for example this sauced one this one color, the shade called sauced and I do it like this, just nothing special just here on the bottom of my eye I'm just try not to get too much here yeah, quite good. I like to look also from the closer here because Yeah, so this is basically what I usually do. This shade seems a bit darker here in the palette than when you put it on the eye. Plus, uh, when you put lighter shades in here and here, it kind of gets more even, so it's totally fine. Yeah, I think that would be it. Then, what I usually do is take another brush, like this one, and put the shade called Quince here just below the brows which will make the effect even better yes 
and put it a bit here. That would be that part. Um, it can be your choice. Sometimes I put just this. I'm just going to put a bit more to be more sure. So sometimes I put just this. And sometimes if I'm in the mood or if I'm not in a very big hurry, uh, what I can do is also put a bit of a darker shade, let's say KN, for example. It's but a very, very little here in the down part of my eye. So when you just use it, it doesn't have that much. It gives you a different effect. My eyes are very small, so even though maybe now it seems a bit dark, um, when I go outside or like it gets covered, so it looks perfect with a bit of the darker shade around here. I use I use the same brush. It's actually Ashley Urban Naked. It's from Ultimate Basics. Uh, this smaller part of the um, of the brush, I use the same the same uh, shade that I used for the upper part of the eye, and I put it just like here a bit. Not too much, to be honest. Just put like there, to make it a bit more complete. Uh, this this part I don't do all the time. To be honest, it depends how I'm in the mood. It, it's not obligatory. It depends how you like it. That is the part when I add a bit of um, compact powder. I use Elizabeth Arden um, shade light number two. Uh, I take a bit of that and just add it here. I use, let's say this is more um, used as a contouring because I like then to accentuate more this part and also in that way I clean if some of the eyeshadow kind of uh, ruined this part below the eyes. For finishing I also add this um, pencil, eye pencil, but in the light color here in the inside part because it kind of gives the um, it accentuates the eyes even more when you put on the mascara the finishing part of the eyes is the mascara I'm using the Burberry color jet black number one uh, I'm almost finished with it and I'm very very satisfied with this mascara, it's quite good, it's voluminous. So I usually put just on the upper part, see now I kind of make it here but I'm gonna clean it after. Uh, I usually put it on the upper part of the eyebrow because and then it can because I kind of prefer it just there. It's just my thing, but that's how I usually do. For contouring, I use his uh, sculpting powder uh, shade medium. It would be this one. Uh, I've been using it, using it for a while now, and it's very, very good. And um, I, um, I got it as I told you from the United States when I was there and um, it's very good so if you're there if you have the opportunity to also to order online because I don't think they ship here but if you can order uh, somewhere there just do it because the products are very very good so I use this brush and just do it here on the lower part of my cheeks and then just add a bit of here not a lot but just to add a bit of the touch to finish it I have the Burberry um, 
nude glow highlighting palette it would be this one it's uh, very good I think it's the last year collection if I'm not mistaken but if you just go and check out uh, they have many many good shades um, before I wanted to buy the MAC uh, because my friend was using it and it's really really good but then once I tried this one I actually like it even more so I'm just happy with it, with it so much so I use uh, this brush and just take it a bit like this and my upper part of my cheeks and here even here on the lips a bit and here on the between the eyes I usually put a lot of highlighter because I like it so so much I think it really gives the final touch of the complete look yeah so this would be it and the final touch would be the lipstick uh, I have many different uh, shades that I um, use during uh, during the day however I have this one that is my favorite and I usually uh, take this one as a matter of habit to be honest and it's also Kevin O'Coin shade it would be kind of a color of the um, meat or I don't know but the shade is called Invincible it's actually a matte lip color and it's really really good I have it since the last year and I still use it and also have the lip pencil that matches the color I don't know which is the number because I think it kind of got erased or whatever anyways um, these would be my primary choice however I also have different Barbary ones for example this one is very good it's kind of a pink one and then uh, what I also use a lot um, it's also Barbary, but now I don't have the, sh the shade that I use usually, but it would be the uh, lip gloss, but it's actually a matte lipstick and they are also very, very, very good on the lips. They don't go away, so once you put them in the morning, they stay quite a long. Let me just finish it. And I use this favorite shade that I told you about. As you can see, it's quite natural. It just matches your lip color usually and it goes very well with any eyeshadow. I am ready. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, maybe next time I will do um, night makeup mood. Let's see. But this is uh, usually what I do before heading out of the house. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have, have some thoughts, comments or anything, just leave the comment below. And let me know what you would like to see more of uh, makeup routine and uh, product favorites. Bye bye!